So I say, you don't ever participate in the space program. They bring space engineers, space scientists, rocket experts, and, and people that study the planets and their movement. The average person can't participate. So I said, you, did you participate in the space program? They say, no. Did you participate in the laying out of highways in America? I said, no. Did you select the design of the Capitol building? It's a copy of old Roman architecture. They say, no. Or did you prepare the curriculum in school? No. Where the hell do you participate? I never saw anybody participate. But they think they participate during elections. Actually, the people that you vote for are selected by clubs and groups of people that believe in this system. You don't pull up a guy as a socialist, a communist, or a fascist. They don't give them airtime. So you never had a participatory democracy. And I don't believe you've ever had a democracy. The reason I don't believe that is because religion on Sunday, you don't have all points of view. You should on TV. Now, I don't want to forget these ideas. The pyramid is a nothing thing. It isn't for water storage or education. Some king is buried there and they built that as, as a zoom And they said, how did they face it exactly into the North Star? First of all, they put up a tube and looked at North Star and that gave them the direction. But the way they actually built the pyramids, I was concerned with. They said that the rocks were so accurate that you couldn't put a business card in between. You know? So, <clears throat> It was true, you couldn't put a business card. But the way they made them fit together, they whipped the slaves and moved them this way and in that way they had ground again. You know what I mean? So they were smooth. But if you move them up like a hundred times, heavy stones. How did they do that? With ropes. They put the ropes around, which they made out of hemp. Mm -hmm. They were about that thick. And they put water on them. And it's hot in Egypt. When the sun shines, it shrinks. And that pulled the heavy rocks. No people can pull that rock. No, it's, That's how they moved it up and back. The Romans did the same thing. To lift up the columns, some columns were made of sections, some were complete. So they built a baffle here, put ropes on the high end, wet it, and when the sun would shrink them, put them up this high. Then they retie ropes, wet them, and shrink them, and put them up to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Sure, they devised methods. But no magic. No anti-gravity. Magic comes from uh, metaphysics. Metaphysical people believe you can see the human aura. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They all believe, they want to believe that because they want to believe that the brain, the mind, they say, is not material. I'm sure you've heard that. Mm -hmm. The mind is something else. <laughs> and does the mind exist after we die? That's the question they have asked me. I'm just trying to give you the way things are done. Now, the, if, if you take a radioactive material called polonium and you put it in the, drill a hole in it and put it in there, if you hit the speech centers, you can't speak anymore. If you hit the visual centers, it discharges the electrons uh, and you can't see anymore. So it must reside in the brain. If you get a brain tumor in a certain area, the guy's eyes are perfect, but he can't see, or he can't speak, or he can't do arithmetic. So it must reside in the brain. Now, in a, in a magnetic recording device, the wiring goes past the magnet, and the magnet demagnetizes the wire and magnetizes it. That's how speech exists in a recording device by magnetic domains or electrostatic or microscopic etching. A phonograph record has zigzags in it, so the needle bounces up and back. When a person speaks, how are you, Sam? Moves up and back like that. When you spin it, it sounds like somehow it's in the record, but you can't find voice in the record. You can't find it if you look at it in a microscope. It's in the grooves. You understand what I'm saying? So. The metaphysician, in order to stay in power and win arguments, is always looking for magic somewhere. <laughs>